You may enter, Mr. Connor.
and only what I do, and nothing more. And if I was going to give anyone a little something to come out, it would just come at a very high price. And I don't give anything away like that. All right? Mm. I was over my daughter. So you don't got anything for her. And you already told me about her. That she gonna be your property or something. <coughs> My daughter seem close, mm. and I wish I had that. You seem to care, so I want to give you something. Oh, to show you how I feel. Fuck me. What are you take down? my manner. Would you like a drink? Yeah, yeah. No problem. You just want to talk and you talk. You talk. <laughs> Let us try this again. Your daughter came to me to talk. Just talk. And I listened very well. <laughs> Innocentia talks about you. She talks about the farm that exists between you. It appears to be a type of farm that goes beyond most proper daughter relationships. Quite historical. It reminds me of my relationship with the females in my life. Allow me to go back and refer to Mr. Canal and perhaps you will understand. The female came to my school. What do you mean with such a certain conclusion? I see them and know them as if they were my own, and they love me as a father in their own fashion. This is how it has been for quite a long time, and what we have is a mutual respect. Where your daughter is concerned, Mr. Canal, she does not even mention or express mutual respect when it comes to you. Why? Oh, man. I love my daughter. She loves me. Does she? I have learned otherwise. Oh, yeah? Who you in that from? Could I have heard that from in the Oh? say nor do anything against you. A good thing that you have helped me very much. Have you mean the world of Christmas? Have you never do anything to her or do anything that would betray any semblance of trust that I have simply made up all of this just to satisfy my own ego? How about we hear from your daughter herself? Perhaps she will shed some light upon all of this. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, my daughter. Anymore! <laughs> As I have said before, and I shall say it again, she came. Your daughter came to me with a situation that she And now let the truth be revealed. The truth. The truth of the matter is, Mr. Connell, is that you are a predator. An animal who only lives to prey upon those weaker than yourself. A creature that exists only to satisfy its own needs and wants with no regard of consequence, regret, no remorse. You come to me with hope of what you can get out of me, or what you can use to get what you can from me. <laughs> Instead, 
I have heard you. Justice has been so richly deserved. In the very bones of one who could have led you to some form of redemption. Your own daughter. She could have gone on to do many great things. And in turn bring you all darkness into the light. Stay that one. In rape and sexual abuse. You have taken away your daughter's life well before I came along. Now I return that favor upon her behalf and at her own request. Yeah. Choice is yours. 